When you're looking to master a new skill like trading, it's only natural to see whether you can benefit and accelerate the learning process by learning from someone who's already been successful. There are, of course, no shortage of educators out there in the world of trading. But there are also many potential obstacles to learning to trade in this way. Let's take a look at five perils of learning from other traders. Number one, great trader but sucks as a teacher. Just as not everyone was born to trade, not everyone was born to teach. And of course, there are far fewer who are born to trade and teach. So of all of those educators out there, there are plenty who don't have both of these skills. Now they can be good at what they do without being good teachers. Dropping a ton of information on people without helping them to understand it or show them how to apply it, for example, isn't likely to achieve the desired results in many cases. Statistically, there will always be some who make it anyway, but it's not always easy to predict who those people will be. It's easy to fall into the trap of believing to some extent that you're special or different and that you are the one percent who will make it but realistically it's far better to find a path where if you are successful you're part of a larger group Number two high capital requirements when someone wants to buy a system the fact is that they are probably not at the scaling up your business phase in many cases they will have a restricted level of risk capital which they're able to commit to the trading business but successful systems come in all shapes and sizes not infrequently, an educator might have been in the industry for quite a while and made a fair amount of money already. So the same levels of capital restrictions are not going to apply to them. But is this something that they remember? Well, not always. And for someone who is still learning, this might not be especially obvious either. So it's incredibly important to assess what an adequate amount of trading capital really is if you are going to follow someone else's method or trading system. Number three. The unrealistic amount of time needed. I'm not saying that the amount of time to trade a strategy is unrealistic. There are traders who sit down in front of their screens and trade for the best part of an entire session each and every day. But if this isn't something that you have the time for, then it's unrealistic for you. The time constraints of someone transitioning to trading from a traditional job means that if you have to commit a decent amount of time on a daily basis in order to be successful, it's going to be extremely difficult to make it. When so much is going on in your work, in your life, the overbearing strain of a demanding trading routine means that when things become tough, your staying power will be challenged and it's quite likely to fail to some degree. The daily grind becomes too much and something will have to give. So it is essential to be realistic about how much time you can give to trading if your life were to stay the same or even get busier. For example, a new job, you take on a big project, you move your house, you get married, you have a child. If, of course, you don't immediately find success and then work out whether you will still have enough time and energy left to trade the strategy that you're currently looking at. Number four, it's an incomplete picture. Like a painting that's half covered up, an education which is only focused on certain aspects of trading will not tell you the whole story and will leave you feeling pretty unsatisfied. There are many parts that make up a robust trading strategy, which stands a far greater chance of achieving ongoing success in the markets. However, there are plenty of educators out there who concentrate on showing you just a fraction of what is truly required. Inevitably, although people who are missing piece of the trading puzzle may find short-term success, ultimately, they are likely to struggle and over time, they'll need to fill in the gaps in their knowledge and their skill set. Number five, anyone can apply to be a trader. Look, again, not everyone was born to trade, but many people are drawn to trading by the intoxicating mix of the potential for great riches, the satisfaction of being your own boss, and the great challenge of making a success of it, and the self-satisfaction that this success can bring. Even if people do have the mental and emotional abilities necessary to find success, what they often are not ready for is having the markets unequivocally demonstrate there are things that they are simply not very good at. This, of course, becomes all the more difficult to take for those who have already experienced some degree of success in their lives, whether or not they consciously recognize what they have achieved as success. But finding the right place to learn, look, a big part of why NetPick systems have frequently been so well received is that they're designed to accommodate a wide spectrum of traders. There are longer term strategies, swing trading systems, day trading methods, and each of these can either be traded at a minimal level or scaled up to represent a more complete trading business. 
They are, in many respects, straightforward to trade and yet can be tailored to take into account rather more complex rules. Wherever you start your trading journey, it's at least as important to assess how appropriate the education or system is to you as it is to see how successful the educator or their system has been. The one thing that you'll never get back in this process is your time. So make sure that you use it wisely.